Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to understand in a very easy and very interesting way what is Vagrant. And before we learn what is Vagrant, we must know what is virtual machine. So we will discuss what is a virtual machine, and then we will understand what is Vagrant and then how Vagrant works. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. And do not worry if this is the first time you are learning about Vagrant or virtual machine. I will start from very basic. From scratch. So let's get started. And first, first let us see what's a virtual machine. Now imagine you have a toy box, and this is a magical toy box. And using this toy box, you can create some more imaginary toy boxes. Now all these toy boxes are imaginary boxes, but you can use them as real. Physical toy boxes. You can put your toys inside these boxes. You can play with the toys, and when you are done playing, if you want, you can also remove or delete these toy boxes. Now, in the same way, let's imagine you have your computer with you, and your computer has some particular operating system running on it. For example, Windows or Mac operating system, and then it has some programs and applications. Now, let's say. due to some project requirements or due to any reason you want to use a different operating system like a linux operating system and you want to install and set up different applications and programs there if you have to do that you will have to set up a different physical machine you have to set up the operating system and all the applications and all the programs there now what if you have some power that using your physical machine within your physical machine you can create some more imaginary machines and these machines can have their own operating systems and applications and programs and you can use them and whenever you want you can also remove or delete them so the system where we create the virtual machines is called as the host system and these machines that we create on the host machine are called as vms or virtual machines and these vms have their own separate operating system and these are isolated with each other and also with the host system so we have our hardware of our system hardware means we have cpu memory hard disk space over the hardware we have some operating system like windows or mac that we are using that will be called as the host operating system and then we have a software called hypervisor hypervisor takes care of creating and managing virtual machines on our host system so using hypervisor we can create one or multiple virtual machines on the system now all these virtual machines are completely isolated they can run separate operating system and we can install a separate environment programs applications here these will be isolated with each other and also with the host system and these machines are going to use the resources of the host system by resources we mean the hardware resources like a uh, cpu hard disk space memory etc and hypervisor will take care of these resource allocation and sharing so virtual machine is a software based computer that runs inside another physical computer or it can also be a cloud based or virtual computer as well and this is called as the host machine on which the virtual machines run and the virtual machines are created and managed by a software called as hypervisor and hypervisor takes care of the resource allocation and sharing within virtual machines and then we can create virtual machines on our own system or if we want to use some cloud virtual machines there are some cloud providers like virtualbox amazon ec2 microsoft azure google cloud compute engine digital ocean and many others so this is what a virtual machine is you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and watch it multiple times now once you have a clarity on virtual machines let us now understand what is vagrant now let's say you are working in a project and you are responsible for creating virtual machines for your project they can be any need for the virtual machines for example you have to set up servers there or you have to create a uh, development and testing environments or performance testing environments so you have to create multiple virtual machines now if you want to do it manually you will have to one by one set up and configure all these machines it will be a complete manual process which will take a lot of time and will also be error prone you will have to create all the configurations in each of these machines and if you want to create some identical environments like a dev testing production environment again you will face issues there 
you will do all the operations manually like starting the machine stopping the machines doing updates and configurations or if you have you have to duplicate the machines all that will be manual time consuming and error prone so for this we have a open source tool called vagrant you can install vagrant on your host machine and then using vagrant you can write the configurations of all the virtual machines that you want to set up in a file called as vagrant file and when you run the vagrant file it will take care of creating setting up and configuring all the virtual machines and this will be very easy you can just use few vagrant commands and you will have everything up and running in a moment i will tell you how this works and then in the coming session we will also do practicals on that but for now you can imagine vagrant using vagrant you can give configurations of the virtual machines you want in a file and then run the file with a vagrant command and that will set up and configure all the virtual machines so the file is called as vagrant file where you give all the configurations and then we give all the details of the virtual machines here and then with a single command that is vagrant up all the vms will be created and configured and there are other vagrant commands using those commands you can do all the other things like starting stopping updating all the things we can do with vagrant commands so this is what vagrant is in very very simple words you can again take a screenshot of the screen now let us see how vagrant works let us say this is your host system and here you will install vagrant once you have installed vagrant you can run the command vagrant in it which will create a file called as vagrant file now in this vagrant file you will give the details about the provider to use there are multiple providers for virtual machines like uh, we have virtual box open stack amazon ec2 etc then you will also give information about the machine and the image to use and then the provisioners do you want to provision using scripts or shell scripts or you want to use some provisioners like a uh, chef puppet ansible etc all this information will go in the vagrant file so for providers we have different options like virtual box vmware aws cloud google cloud azure openstack etc for provisioners again we have options like ansible puppet chef salt or we can create our own scripts it's not necessary that you always have to use any of these we can also add our own scripts for provisioning and then after you have given all these information and configuration about the virtual machines in this file when we run the command vagrant up it will set up all these virtual machine create and configure all these virtual machines and then these virtual machines will be ready to use so this is how vagrant works if you want you can again take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and look at it multiple times and you will never forget what vagrant is and how it works in a very very simple uh ways when we do practical it will be more clear but for now you should understand this very very basic information about vagrant also let me show you a sample vagrant file if i search for a uh, sorry i search for vagrant file example and let us see this one so you can see this is a very basic vagrant file so here we have uh information about a single virtual machine so you can see it is written in ruby and then uh, here we give the image name we give the provider virtual box it is open source vm provider then we do the provisioning using a shell script and this is the path of the shell script so using whatever we have given in the shell script this virtual machine will be created and configured okay so this is how vagrant works so this is a open source tool written in ruby and with vagrant we can create and manage virtual machines in very easy and efficient way with vagrant we can specify the configuration of our virtual machines in a file called as vagrant file and then whenever we run the command vagrant up on the configuration file that is vagrant file it will create the virtual machines and then we have other vagrant commands that we can use from the command line to manage the virtual machines vagrant was started by michel as a side project and then uh, the first version of vagrant was released in march 2010 and michel formed an organization called hashicorp to support full time development of vagrant 
So again, you can take a screenshot of this screen and with this, I hope now it is very clear to you what is Vagrant, why we use it and in the coming sessions, we will do more practical and hands-on and this will be very interesting. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.